Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the Player Auctions plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows your players to auction off the items they don't want and using a GUI purchase items they do want from other players. So let's just jump into it and do forward slash PA help, that will show us all of the commands. And then simply if we do forward slash PA that's going to bring up the GUI and all this does is show you all the different categories so if you want to search for something specific you can or up at the top you could just click all auctions. If you click food obviously it's going to show you all your food items, tools, it will show you all the tools, armour, it will show armour that's being sold etc. Up at the top if we click all auctions it will show every single one. Bottom left we can go back to the categories and then if we click the search icon we can actually search for something specific. So if I type in diamond anything that has diamond in its name will pop up in the search bar. We can sort it in a different order and then if we hover over any of them you can see various information and you can obviously click to purchase it, the seller, the price, when it expires etc. So if we were to click on one of these for example let's go with the diamond axe. So this is $1500 runs out in just under two days and we can either accept the purchase or deny the purchase here so let's accept it for 1500 and there we go we have purchased our item so next we're going to show you how you can sell something and there's a couple of different ways if you do four slash pa sell followed by a price that will put your item on the market it will cost ten dollars you can uh, change this in the config file and if we do four slash ah or pa we can see it's in the auction GUI and this is a purchase item so there's no bidding it's just to buy it now. However if we do 4 slash PA auction this will bring up the auction GUI. This is where you can either set it to a buy it now so a selling item or a bidding item where multiple people can bid on it to up the price. It starts at $1 on the left you can add $110 or $100 on the right you can remove $110 or $100 to set it at the price that you want. So if I just click that a few times we can see it's at 1200 now. You can hit red to cancel or green to OK it. Once again this costs $10 to put it on the market and it's currently selling for 1200 And if we don't want an auction anymore you can do 4 slash PA or AH cancel and then the ID of the auction so that's 1. And then if you do 4 slash PA collect that will give you all of your items back that have either expired or been cancelled by yourself. We can also do 4 slash PA amount and that's going to show you the amount of auctions that you currently have live and the total amount that you could have which apparently is 2 billion which is quite a lot. And then you can do 4 slash PA reload if you've made any changes in the config file which is where we're going now. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see there are three folders and a config.yml. Let's have a look in the config and if we look in the settings we've got the language which is English, debug is set to false, we've got download update automatically set to true and then if we go to command aliases you might have seen I either use PA or AH both are acceptable which is pretty handy. Scroll down and we've got the order of auctions listed, so oldest date, but you could choose any of the others. Scroll down even more and you want the item display name, so that's obviously set to true. And if we scroll down to the auction section, we can set various things here. So should there be a confirmation before selling an item, yes or no? And then another useful feature is you're not allowed to do it while in creative mode, so that would stop people from creating auctions while in creative cooldown so five seconds between auctioning items although you could set that to longer what is the min and max price for an auction by default i think that's a thousand i set it to one but you could change it to whatever you want do you want to allow decimals in the prices yes or no should you be able to purchase your own item which would be kind of pointless and then how long till it expires so it can be infinite setting it to negative one or 48 hours in this case then we've got the broadcast, so it will just say this player is selling an item for this price and obviously for slash AH to check. Economy section, so sell price. This is the price you get effectively taxed when you put an item on the market. So you can obviously set that to minus one so players don't have to pay to put an item on the market. And then backups, do you want this enabled, yes or no? And then the bidding increment, which is $10, although you could change that to whatever you wanted. Here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.16. It was, in fact, updated yesterday. And there's loads of cool information on this page. We've got various features, the permissions and placeholders. If you have any trouble, you can contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.